What's up everybody? I'm Tam and welcome to my YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe because if you don't, you may never find my channel again because it's difficult to find. So today we're going to answer the question, are all narcissist jerks or are all jerks narcissists is a better question. So picture somebody in your mind who you think is a jerk. Or have you known somebody that you would put in that category? It could be past, it could be present. And what did they act like? What made them a jerk? Did they not follow through on plans? Were they rude and disrespectful? Were they loud? Were they difficult to get along with? What is it that constitutes jerk? And my real question is, just because somebody is a jerk, does it make them a narcissist? It's kind of like everyone who gets a divorce, well, their husband or their wife was a narcissist. And we know that that can't be true because of the percentages of narcissists. Most people aren't narcissists. But I personally do think it is possible to be a jerk. I mean, without having an actual personality disorder, what makes somebody a jerk? Think about something that you do or that you've done that is not the best thing in the world. Like I know some people who are late everywhere. They're super late all the time. And that can be a problem with work. It could be a problem with making plans with other people because people's time is precious and valuable. So if you're late, but that doesn't make you a jerk, but somebody, some people would put that in a jerk behavior. What about hot tempers? Do you yell at people? Do you um, say what's on your mind without using any tact? Like you just speak what you feel, regardless of who it might offend. Do you not pay people back when you borrow money? That could be considered jerk behavior. I mean, Give me an example of something you do that maybe isn't the best and why do you do it? It's probably because you haven't disciplined yourself to do it. You were not taught to do it. You haven't practiced doing it or you didn't have anybody correcting you when you were doing things wrong. Do I think most people take advantage of people? Uh, probably not. I would hope not. I would hope that we all have a consciousness for other people and how what we do impacts the lives of other people. But think about all the, you know, when you have a child, everybody, your child is depending on you. So let's say you get a divorce or you cheat on your spouse, then you are creating a situation potentially for your child that they don't deserve. They may grow up without both parents because one person cheated multiple times. And then do you see your child or do you neglect your child because they're not living in the home? Those things could be considered jerky behavior. I think we all have areas in which we need to grow. And I think we all need to be more considerate of how what we do and how what we say impacts other people. I think that's important because we all have to live in the world together. So if you're giving somebody sucky service, do you want sucky service? You know what I'm saying? But I'm just picturing some people. I remember this lady who I worked with and she would yell at everyone about everything. She was always angry. She was always upset. And it's like a certain decision may have had to be made that impacted her, but it would impact everyone else as well. But it was, you know how some things as an adult, you just have to kind of deal with. Well, she would go off. She'll be yelling at everybody. I don't want that. Or I don't want to have to deal with that. And it would just be like, oh my gosh, this lady is so 
expensive. But I remember a couple of my colleagues said, don't worry, she'll make us desserts for Christmas. So just let her yell. That's who she is. It's amazing how we accept bad behavior from certain people. So do I think she was a narcissist? I don't know. There was definitely a possibility. I was just dealing with somebody recently who was upset because this organization came and they came for a good reason and they used to bring lunch and feed everyone breakfast and lunch and this person went ballistic because they didn't provide lunch and breakfast this year but they were here for a good cause they were doing something great but the person was like why are they here then if they're not going to feed us breakfast and lunch why are they here They're just here to make themselves look good and put themselves on the map. But I'm thinking, yes, it's disappointing that you're not getting your breakfast and your lunch, but there's a bigger cause that has nothing to do with you or breakfast and lunch. But they were going so ballistic. It made them seem a little self-centered. Like, you don't care that these people might hear you going off. It's kind of rude. It's disrespectful. And I had to do a lot of work to put this thing together. So it's like I'm not in the moment or, or the frame of mind to want to hear all of that right now. So in order to determine if a jerk is actually a narcissist, we have to look at what is narcissistic personality disorder. It involves a pattern of self-centered, arrogant thinking and behavior, a lack of empathy and consideration for other people, and an excessive need for admiration. Others often describe people with NPD as cocky, manipulative, selfish, patronizing, and demanding, and that's by helpguide.org. So, I mean, I felt like this person was being selfish, self-centered, arrogant, uh, selfish, patronizing, demanding. I want my breakfast and my lunch. Okay, we all would like that, but it doesn't warrant a tantrum. But some people just have a hot temper. So it sometimes it's difficult to determine if somebody is a narcissist or they're just behaving badly because they have a very strong personality that nobody checks them because nobody wants to get checked back or yelled at. And so certain people with the dominant traits get away with things that Other people don't because people don't want to question them or put them in their place because they don't want to get yelled at. Common signs of narcissistic rage include a bout of anger that is disproportionate to the triggering stressor, a rage that may quickly end and never be discussed again, anger that results in physical or verbal aggression. So I know myself personally, I... I definitely can have a hot temper and I always did even as a kid and that's something that I have had to consciously work on and the thing is is I know what's appropriate and what's not I know social behavior and what's acceptable and what's not acceptable so most people wouldn't even know that I feel very impatient and temperamental Other than my immediate family, sometimes I can be grouchy or quick-tempered or impatient or just show my true self, but I would say I've gotten a lot better at that because it doesn't feel good to yell at people or get agitated that it ruins their day, it makes them feel bad. So I have a consciousness for not wanting other people to feel bad for nothing just because I'm agitated or irritated or frustrated. So for me, it's something that I've had to 
really work on and I feel like I'm much better. Doesn't mean I'm perfect, but yeah, so some dominant personalities just they're hot tempered. Does the person have narcissistic tendencies? Can they look inward and make changes to bad behavior? So I was looking at this article called Seven Types of Narcissism by Laura Dorwart. And she was saying what her version of narcissistic tendencies are. And they are exhibits one or a few traits. So they might believe that others should admire them. Behaviors come and go and are only present in some context, for example, at school, but not at home. Life and relationships are not affected in a major negative way. Traits may even give an advantage, help them succeed at work. I've seen narcissists be phenomenal in the workspace, so that can be a little tricky, in my opinion. May be developmentally normative in childhood and teen years. I definitely think you can see narcissism in children. Can recognize traits as negative and be open to changing them. Has developed self-awareness and insight. Can be empathetic but may not be at times. So it could be somebody who didn't quite make it to having narcissistic personality disorder, but they grew up in a tough neighborhood. They grew up, let's say, for example, in poverty or having to defend themselves in tough situations, or they went without. They might develop a big ego to compensate for lack or for feeling small, but they don't have the full-blown personality disorder, but they do have enough that it helps them to cope with society, but they can actually work on it and get better. Personality disorders are very difficult to treat. So somebody who is a full-blown narcissist has little to no ability to empathize, according to this article, Uh, does not see traits as negative and is less likely to be open and willing to work on changing them. Traits may significantly impair their life, making it impossible for them to have healthy relationships. Behaviors are constant across situations and traits are fundamental to their personality. So it is definitely very tricky. You have to look at all of the traits of narcissism and see, does this person meet the criteria? Most people probably have one narcissistic trait, especially these days with Instagram and me, 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 look at me. Look, I can take pictures of myself on my camera. So I think we all have to watch our tendencies and let this be a reminder to check yourself because you don't want to look like the narcissist and not be aware of it. So Just be self-aware and let me know, do you know any jerks and do you feel like they're actually narcissists? Let us know in the comments. Make sure you like the video, share it with people who you think it will help and check out my book, The Workplace of Narcissists, where I actually break down every single trait in the DSM-5 that lets you know that somebody is a narcissist and I talk about things you can do, how you can handle them. But even when you know how to handle these folks, it's still so draining to deal with them. So anyway, my lovely friends, stay cool and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.